Hello, my name is David Ryan. I am the President of Local Ireland, the representative association for 46 weekly local newspapers spread across the 26 counties of the Republic. I'm also the General Manager of the Nina Guardian newspaper. 2020 has been an extraordinary year. COVID-19 has wreaked havoc on the well-being of thousands of people in this country. Our economy has suffered a dramatic shock and here we are again in lockdown, hopefully for the last time. One of the effects of the pandemic has been the cancellation of large gatherings, such as our local Ireland National Lottery Media Awards. However, I'm delighted to report that the fifth annual Media Awards event went ahead. Not alone with that, entries in all categories surpassed previous years. Instead of our annual awards dinner, presentations to award winners and shortlisted entries took place locally and will feature extensively in our newspapers issues of the week commencing the 9th of November. Our awards winners will also feature on video streamed on our newspaper channels and on the local Ireland and National Lottery websites. National Lottery has sponsored the awards for the last three years and we are indebted to them for their ongoing support. Local newspapers and National Lottery are an excellent fit as they both support and serve every community in the country. Each of us is very well aware of the hundreds of good causes that have been supported by the National Lottery and coverage in our newspapers on a weekly basis in recent years. Our thanks go to the dedicated staff of National Lottery for their ongoing support and we look forward to continuing this relationship in the years ahead. Finally, I wish to extend my personal congratulations and that of the members of Local Ireland to all who participated in this year's award scheme, to the shortlisted entries and the award winners. Your enthusiasm, professionalism and commitment to producing quality newspapers every week ensures the future of this industry and the enrichment of our communities we serve. Thank you and stay safe. Hello. I'm Andrew Algio, the CEO of the National Lottery. I know we'd all like to be in the same room this year, um, I certainly know I would, um, to celebrate the Local Ireland Media Awards, to show appreciation for achievement, but also to say hello or say hello again. Um, but times are as they are, and even the CEO of the company who sponsors the awards has to forgo the corporate lunch. Um, so we'll do this via video. The National Lottery is honoured to sponsor the Local Ireland Media Awards for the third consecutive year to celebrate excellence in journalism. While it's never been easier for people to access news, we turn to local media in order to receive news that we trust and, crucially, news that's delivered to us in a context which is meaningful to us, a local context. And it's because of this local context that these awards are such a good fit for the National Lottery because... Like local newspapers, the National Lottery is embedded in communities at a local level, embedded through the thousands of good causes which we provide funding for each year, embedded through the five and a half thousand retailers up and down the country who, who, through whom we sell our tickets, and embedded, of course, in our players present in every village and town in the country and whom uh, enjoy National Lottery games, whether or not they are among the 30 a new National Lottery Millionaires last year. Funding good causes is our purpose and we're incredibly proud of our contribution in that regard. Funding sports clubs and swimming pools near you, funding some of the most profoundly important health and welfare uh, support organisations in our country. In fact, supporting any of the thousands of good causes who receive National Lottery funding each year. Playing National Lottery games truly makes a difference. Nearly 30 cent in every euro spent goes to good causes. And last year, our players helped us to raise 252 million euros for those good causes. That's nearly 700,000 euros a day. But finally, and back to where I started, well done to all this year's nominees and particular congratulations to the winners of this year's Local Media Awards. I hope, despite the times we're in, that you get and take the opportunity to celebrate your success. Take care. Hi, everyone. We are the advertising sales team from the Connor Tribune Galway, and we won the award for Best Advertising Campaign, sponsored by the National Lottery, in the Local Ireland Journalism Awards 2020. 
Hi, I'm Dave O'Connell, Group Editor of the Connacht Tribune. And I'm Deputy Editor Aidan Cunningham. And we're delighted to have won the Best Designed Front Page Award in this year's Local Ireland Journalism Award, sponsored by the National Lottery. Hello, I'm Eamon Wynne of the Clonmel Nationalist. I won the Sports Journalist of the Year Award for an article on Leo O'Gorman, a young boxer who won an Irish title after recovering from leukaemia. I'd like to thank our sponsors, the National Lottery. Hi, I'm Colin McGann, editor of the Clare Champion newspaper, and I'd like to congratulate John Kelly on being awarded Photographer of the Year at the Local Ireland National Lottery Media Awards for 2020. Thanks, Colin. I'm delighted to accept the award. Um, I suppose really not just as an award for the Clare Champion and for me, it's also an award for Mary Murphy, the woman in the photograph, uh, who was doing a fantastic job on the day, who I witnessed doing a fantastic job on the day. So here's to you, Mary. Delighted to receive this trophy for the best use of photography in the Local Ireland Awards. Special mention to photographer Jerry Shanahan who took the photographs and to the National Lottery for their continued support. Hi, my name is Ty Evans and I'm a reporter for the Kerryman newspaper in Tralee. I was delighted to find out in recent days that a piece that I'd written on the disappearance of Abbeyfield native Paddy Moriarty uh, from an outback Australian town in 2017 was named as the winner in the best feature story category of this year's Local Ireland Media Awards. I'd like to thank all my colleagues at the Kerryman for their support. Um, I'd like to thank Local Ireland as well for recognising the piece and I'd like to thank the sponsors of the awards, National Lottery. Hi there, my name's Liam Cosgrove, I'm journalist for the Longford Leader and I won News Story of the Year 2020 in the Local, uh, local Media Ireland Awards and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Local Ireland and the National Lottery uh, for this amazing accolade. I'm truly honoured and privileged to have won this um, for my story which uh, which emerged earlier this year in relation to a a joint operation which was led by the Gardaí and the Criminal Assets Bureau uh, which resulted in the seizure of €700,000 worth of, of assets uh, as part of an ongoing operation to organise crime in County Longford. So thank you very much. I'm Mary Frances Ryan, the editor of the Waterford News and Star. And I'm here today to present the Local Ireland Media Award, kindly sponsored by the National Lottery, for Best New Series of the Year to Darren Skelton of the Waterford News and Star for his excellent coverage on the mortuary debacle at UHW. Uh, Darren, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm delighted to have won this award for Best Design Supplement at the Local Ireland Media Awards. Special praise must go to our contributors for this fine magazine and to the advertisers who supported us as well. I'm David Hurley, Head of Multimedia with the Limerick Leader. We are absolutely thrilled to have won the Best Digital Content Award for our coverage of the count of general election 2020 back in February. We really did up the bar between our live blog, our standalone stories, our graphics and our interactive map showing where people actually voted according to the tallies. We appreciate the support. The figures reflect that our audience appreciated the coverage. And again, thank you to Local Ireland and to the National Lottery for their ongoing support. Hi, I'm Kieran Manny from the Southern Star newspaper in Skipperine, in County Cork. And I'm delighted to have won the Best Community Story Award at this year's Local Ireland Media Awards. Uh, I felt the story was a very important one to tell about the people living in direct provision centres in Ireland and uh, delighted to have uh, uh, won it, having written about them. Um, and I'd also like to thank the sponsors, the National Lottery, for this award. Delighted to have received the uh, Local Ireland uh, National Media Award, sponsored by the National Lottery. Uh, we won the award for the best advert which was supplied by Knock Airport. So I'd like to congratulate Knock Airport and the advert that they supplied to win this award. We were also shortlisted for a best advertising campaign and the Connacht Telegraph as part of the Celtic Media Group were shortlisted in a number of other categories as well. So as a newspaper and as a publishing company, we're delighted for this recognition. 